Hey, everybody. 45 minutes after the hour, more and more poison control centers are getting calls from panicked pet owners saying, my dog ate my pot. The ASPCA got more calls uh, on this than almost anything else. 500 cases, animals accidentally consuming cannabis in 2014 is dramatically up from the year before. So what do pet owners need to do to prevent their dogs from overdosing on marijuana? Our friend, veterinarian Dr. Heather Lenzer, joins us now, along with her dogs, Calvin and Maggie, who are old friends of the program. Yeah, making themselves comfortable on the couch here. <laughs> He's going after the chocolate. So, okay, so oh, this is the is. biggest yeah, thing. No, he really is. That. This is what happens. Calvin, get back here, People buddy. need to safeguard their stash. Right. Okay, so in a lot of places now, you can use it medicinally or you can use it legally recreationally. And this is why we're getting the spike in calls to poison control. So what? the biggest concern is not smoking pot and them getting secondhand smoke from it, right? They or can't. It... No, they still can. But the main issue we're seeing right now is in edibles. in edibles. So I have a pub, I brought some brownies and chocolate. They don't have any THC in them. Okay. But now if you know people if they're going to use this, they'll maybe have a square of chocolate, half a brownie, something like that. Dogs if they see that, they gobble it all up. And now something that, you know, for little Maggie here, this little 15-pound dog, she eats a whole bar of chocolate that was in someone's purse or on the coffee table, and we have a serious toxicity problem. So what happens to the well, dog? Well, with, with the, the pot, they get glassy-eyed, just kind of like people do. They can get yes. really sleepy. Um, but in large amounts, they can end up having seizures, going rigid, and in oh. very rare cases, dying. So it is, it is a toxic co a compound, but fortunately, there aren't a lot of fatalities. The ones that we have seen have been associated, again, with baked goods, butters, oils, where it's very concentrated. What about the opposite? Are you seeing um, pot being used at all medicinally for dogs? It's a great question. It is, um, it is starting to happen. We don't have data on what, on what the actual toxic dose is or the therapeutic dose. So if your animal has an issue, um, before you reach for your med medicinal marijuana, talk to your veterinarian and see if there's other ways we can treat it first uh, before we go to that. Yeah, I met a couple. They have a, a yellow lab who's 14 years old, and they said she was on her last legs and they actually have have bought some kind of pot doggy biscuits or something you say that it's brought her appetite back and mm -hmm. she's doing well and, and I thought this is crazy it very well may be anecdotally but again we don't have the data to know what dose does that lab need for pain or for treating of cancer or that kind of thing but if you find out your dog's a pothead mm -hmm. what do you do if the dog is constantly searching out or let's marijuana? just say he just gets into a little bit let's go okay. to that scenario you need to call your veterinarian and if you don't have a veterinarian the fastest place to find one is on the American Animal Hospital Association's website aaha.org quick yeah. hospital location you can find an accredited vet there. Then you can call one of two poison control centers that are my favorite, and we have that information on um, your foxnews.com website. Um, and they will, there's veterinary toxicologists that actually staff those, and they'll give you great information on what to do. What not to do is to induce vomiting. You can, if you Google how to deal with poisoning in pets, the, a lot of websites will say to use hydrogen peroxide. That is a way that we do induce vomiting in dogs. But if the dog's already getting sedate and water, Wobbly from the pot, they could accidentally inhale that vomit, oh. stomach acid, the chocolate, the pot, and now we've got some potentially fatal aspiration pneumonia. So go to your vet and safeguard your sash. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And most dogs don't like it, you said. Well, they don't. I, they, they like, I, I don't really know if they enjoy being high. Right, I mean, the ones right. that I see in the hospital, I, I treat them supportively. IV fluids, make sure their blood pressure is stable. A lot of, sometimes they can get yeah. cold, low body temperature. Again, ultimately, they typically do okay, but they really do better under veterinary care. Dr. So, Heather, thank yeah. you. It's great to see you. Thank, thank you. for coming on the show. And the dogs. <laughs> Coming up.